This is the 10-year overview reading for ACB throughout the 10-year period of 2020 through 2029. That's Aurora Cannabis. Currently, it's November 9, 2022, approximately 10.27 p.m. Eastern Time. One share of ACB at the time of this reading is $1.21 per share. So overall behavior for the 10 year period is, is notably bearish, but it is, more, it is crossed with a significantly big move to the upside on the scale of a multi-year chart. So that's interesting. 2020, we have a U-shaped dip uh, within uh, forming near uh, the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. In 2021, we had, uh, uh, in the midst of volatility, uh, we met a resistance level that offered an opportunity to position oneself in both directions. 2022, uh, notable move to the upside in 2022. It'll stand out on a multi-year chart. 2023, we have erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. And in the midst of that erratic behavior, revisit a crest that was recently a past opportunity. So within like a year or so, maybe two years. And then in 2024, we, we successfully turned resistance on a multi-year chart into new support. 2025, a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a multi-year chart followed by a decline through key support on a multi-year chart. And it's important to point out that the technicals will make it appear, we'll, we'll, we'll expect based on technicals to break out through this resistance level, but instead we turn around and we decline. That's 2025. 2026, a rally along a diagonal trend line. Uh, it eventually ends with a fast sudden move to the upside and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. Uh, 2027, we have, uh, this could be a notable peak. We'll have to look at the meta, at the, uh, the uh, markup, the SO meta markup, but it, this could be a notable peak. In any case, it's a move higher through a key resistance level on a multi-year chart, followed by a decline back down through that same price level shortly thereafter, so within the same year. Um, and then we have a, a intentional fake out or shake out of some sort in 2028. Um, usually this type of thing is intended to create impulsive decisions by retail investors. It's probably going to try and pump it up or something, but there's a significant decline in 2029 through multiple support levels on a multi-year chart. Behavior around the month, the uh, 10 year high, uh, there's a decline off of it, offering an opportunity to open up a longer, uh, a long position. So that's definitively bullish. Um, behavior around the low, we have a period of, of volatility that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside. Um, I'm advised to trade around a significant bottom. So it'll stand out a significant bottom over a 10 year period on a multi-year chart, it'll stand out here. Um, and then the sneak preview for the following 10 years is, uh, is definitively bullish, bumping along resistance, breaking through resistance, bumping along resistance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna look at um, the pattern recognition portion and see if we can identify where the highs and lows and any good trade opportunities are. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is fact check here. Um, it's a way of verifying the, the accuracy of the reading because, you know, not, not all of them are like 100%. Depends on energy, it depends on state of mind, you know, a lot of things. So um, we have 2020 here. These white vertical lines um, indicate the, the edges of the year. So this is 2020 here. Um, and you can see 2020, we have this U shaped dip, but. Um, the, this ruin indicates like we come from off of a high and you can see we came off of a high into this u-shaped dip It's kind of like this Not a perfect view, but it's a u-shaped dip and it uh, Forms near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines U-shaped dip, 
And then in 2021, we have selling from a peak, uh, from a near overbought peak. Not an overbought peak, but a near overbought peak. And, and relative to the, the lifetime of the chart, you could say this is near overbought. Um, and it also uh, indicates, highlights a resistance level that marks a good mi midpoint uh, for uh, like a, a, a straddle or strangle. So this price level right here, matter of fact, let me get rid of these, make it a little easier. My sense is that's it right there. We sell from this near overbought peak and we also uh, test that resistance level. So um, with that said, the following year, 2022 um, is supposed to be uh, established support and then there's a significant move higher standing out on a multi-year chart, um, taking us into a high in 2023. And seeing that we really haven't seen that move yet, which will happen sometimes, not each card is gonna line up exactly with the year, but the sequence of events will be accurate. And, and, and therefore this, if we, first off, if we take out that big peak out of the equation, um, it's a little, it looks a little bit more volatile. But point is, is that we haven't seen that big move yet, which my sense is, is coming very, very shortly. We have a big move to the upside to, to take us to a uh, high. And this should be like, it'll be erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. But in the midst of that erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level, we'll revisit a crest that was a uh, past opportunity, recently a past opportunity. So like within a three year period, you could say. Um, I would say that it could be this one, but it's unlikely that this is the crest based on the fact that this is a princess of, of swords at, uh, price level. So that would make the next, the next real crest like either here or here. Um, pretty big moves guys pretty big moves um, So I see something along those lines happening and I'll get into that with the Q&A um, portion um, and we'll see after uh, Just how high up we go there um, But it looks like we eventually established support in 2024. We eventually established support out of, of out of resistance um, We eventually established support out of resistance. However, I'm I'm advised. Okay, I see it. So we create the high in that erratic behavior in 2023, and then um, we you know fall off that high in the erratic behavior in 2023 as well. And then out of that whatever decline that is, we then push um, to create support out of old, old resistance on a multi-year scale in 2024. 2025, we attempt to break through the the resistance that we set as an all-time high. Um, we have established support, or it looks like we've established support on a multi-year scale. Therefore, people are expecting us to break through that resistance, but instead we turn around and we decline through a key support level on the scale of a multi-year chart. Um, there's a breakout on the cusp, roughly, like between that failed attempt to break through key resistance and followed by the decline through support. And then that's, that's between that and then the, the Knight of Wands, which is a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking down with a fast sudden move higher, and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. So between those two cards, um, in the sequence of events, there's a breakout, takes us to likely to a new high in 2026 early in the year in 2026 and then we fall to a crest that'll stand out on a multi or, sorry we fall to a trough that'll stand out on a multi-year chart um somewhere between twenty twenty uh six and twenty twenty seven the the abundance card in twenty twenty seven um abundance card on this kind of scale it might mean another uh another new high there um another new high actually yeah uh because the abundance card in a lot of cases will be that on the scale this this broad type of energy that's that's my my sense is that there's a new high there as well and then we've got the devil card and uh an intentional fake out or shake out some sort of false triggering of an indicator designed to uh create impulsive decisions on re uh, on the part of retail investors um and it looks like it's going to be a move It's going to be a move off of a uh, peak to the downside so like there'll be a move higher it will so rotate sideways 
In 2028, uh, we're gonna rotate sideways and then there'll be a fast sudden move higher, but that'll be a fake out and then we decline pretty hard off of that fast sudden move higher. It looks like we'll be at the end of the year of 2028. Um, we have a decline through multiple support levels off of that fast sudden move higher fake out. A decline off of multiple support levels on a multi-year scale in 2029. At the end of the year at a low in 2029, it looks like um, we have uh, another notable move to the upside just at the end of the year. And it, it looks like after that notable move to the upside, there's a, a, a notable move to the downside, like both will stand out on a multi-year chart. But then after that, multi, that move to the downside, we're looking at definitively bullish energy in, in 2030 to 2039. Um, so that's looking pretty solid there for, for ACB actually. The cards look pretty bearish at first based on the theme card. Um, there's something misleading that comes out around the mid midpoint, maybe um, maybe having to do with a, a male ruler here in 2020, a male um, executive here in a uh, fire sign in uh, uh, 2026. But there's a pretty steep decline at the end of this 10 year period. All right, guys, stay tuned for the uh, question and answer. We're gonna get into high, highest highs and uh, questions and stuff like that. Um, and uh, take a moment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you have, uh, please t take a moment and share. This is the Q&A portion where we uh, attempt to ext extrapolate some extra information about price levels um, and timing. Um, and guys, if you want to get into the trades, you want to see what our best, what I see as the best trades for this 10-year period, um, you got to check out. You got to check it out on our website, tarotfortraders.com. Um, if you sign up for the early access, you get you get access to all of our readings that have been done pretty much ahead of like when they're scheduled to be dropped. And not only that, but they're the versions that have like the trades at the end of them, talking about what we see as the best trades for each time frame and each uh, stock. Highly recommended, guys. TerryOfferTraders.com. Seventeen bucks a month. It's nothing. Um, but so what we see here, I'm going to do is. ACB's highest price level of the 10 year period 2020 through 2029 taking place in 2027. Yes, I got the fortune card. That's a big deal. So that's the highest life, the price level. It looks like towards the early part of 2027, we have the highest high. Is ACB's highest price level of 2023 at or above $100 in 2023? That's a big yes. We got the Ace of Cups. Is ACB's highest price level in 2023 at or above $125? Is ACB's highest price level 125? I got 125 as the highest price level in 2023. Do we exceed the 2023 highest price? Does ACB ex exceed at the highest price level of 2023 in the year of 2025? It's a maybe. Um, so it's the same price level in 2025. That's that's generally what that means. Um, and then in, does ACB's highest price level of 2027 exceed ACB's highest price level of 2025? That's a yes. Does ACB's highest price level of 2027 exceed $150? I got an ace of discs. Does ACB's highest price level of 2027 exceed $200? That's a yes, okay. 
does ACB's highest price level of 2027 exceed $225? We're going to go with $225 as the, as, as the price in, in 2027. Is ACV's lowest price level of the 10-year the period 2020 through 2029 taking place? In 2022 or 2023? No. Is ACB's lowest price level for the 10 year period of 2020 through 2029 take place in 2029? lowest price level of the 10 year period 2020 through 2029 take place in 2028 now is ACB's lowest price level of the 10 year period 2020 through 2029 take place in 20 2022. 2022. Oh, wow, where is it? Is ACB's lowest price level of the 10 year period 2020 through 2029 take place in 2025? Yes, there we go. So after we have that failed attempt to break through key resistance, followed by a decline through key support. Then we have uh, our lowest period there um, from which we have a breakout, it looks like. So there's a pretty significant move there over that next two year period. But I'm, I'm seeing pretty good trades here, guys. Um, matter of fact, I think for the 10 years, I'll probably just let you all know in, in the public, at least for now, um, so it's looking like right now is a pretty good buy opportunity right around this time. I mean, I'd have to look at the one year for ACB to get an exact time frame. Um, but overall, now would be a good time to get in because we've established we're basically establishing support right now. And then there's going to be erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level, confirming uh, or excuse me, and revisiting a past crest there, which should be at the 125 range. So we're going to have like a pretty significant move higher, guys. Um, I mean, it's possible. Look, we went from what, 25 to 125 in a matter of a few months before. So it could happen again, especially after all this over fear has like dissipated. Then comes like the op opposite. You know, it's like a tidal wave. Huge wave pulls all the water out to sea first. You know, so um, that's what I would probably do. I'd, I'd probably cash out in 20 uh, when we hit that 125 mark. Um, and then somewhere in, in 2020, uh, 2025, um, in the midst of a low, so after we fail to break through key resistance there, so we'll attempt to, we'll attempt to break through that 125 range again in 2025. Um, and then we'll have a notable decline there uh, that'll take us to the low for this 10 year period. And then um, a breakout out of that low takes us to an even higher high. So there's gonna be some real volatile, like some real wild swings over that, that period of time, 2025 to 2027. In any case, guys, that's ACB for the 10 year period of 2020 through 2029. Uh, let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, my friends, one more thing. This card here in the high position is definitively bullish for like the long term. So like the next 10 year period, the 2020, uh, the 2030 through 2039 period, super bullish. 
Um, this is so any any decline off of the high would be considered an opportunity to open up a long position if you're looking out that far in time, like 20 years. Um, just to say, guys. Um, but with that said, um, when you make money from these readings, let me know. Um, let me know about it. Make sure you follow that rule of karma. You send a little bit forward, a little bit backwards. Um, and guys, if you want to see a one like monthlies of ACB, so you can get in on these trades, like fine tune where they are. Um, all you got to do is, is go to the website terrafortraders.com, um, sign up for um, the, the monthly recurring subscription. You'll get the best trade that we see for um, each month for ACB, which isn't in the public version. Um, and it'll also guarantee that ACB gets done every single month as long as it's being paid for. Um, and most importantly, guys, it really helps support the channel. Um, I do see the names of the people that are doing this, believe me, and I remember those people on live and, and everywhere else. Um, much much appreciation goes out to all of those that, that took a moment to, to support the channel. Um, and with that said, guys, blessings. I'll see you on the next one.